These are the words that set the rhythm of the march of 50,000 students through the streets of London. Few expected that the banners carried that day would end up in flames outside the Conservative headquarters. This was in reaction to Lord Brown's proposed education cuts, which had also forced the tuition fee cap to rise to £9,000. While the intention of the protest was peaceful, Broken glass still lifted the floor outside 30 Millbank House the morning after. We're here today to send out a clear message about how the devastating cuts to further and higher education could be really troubling and how some students, I think, will find themselves priced out of education. This is a government that ran its election campaign, the Tory half at least, saying that you cannot sustain an economy on debt while simultaneously uh, passing on record levels of debt onto the next adult generation. That is sheer hypocrisy. But I think it's right that we continue to focus on the issue of the fee cap because I don't think it's right that we will sit back and watch the student contribution treble in front of our eyes while state funding is just simply withdrawn. The Liberal Democrats need to stick to their word. They made a promise at the general election to vote against higher fees. They had an election broadcast where Nick Clegg said, no more broken promises. Students are laughing in their faces right now and they face wipeout unless they reverse what they're doing. Clearly we, uh, we want this to be a peaceful process. That's exactly what we've signed up for. Uh, and actually, if students go on to be violent, that is a matter for the police and we will have to hand it over to them. And if, if we end up with a riot on the streets, which I'm sincerely hoping won't happen, the press is going to focus on that. That's not what we want the press to focus on. That's not what my union wants the press to focus on. It's not what you want the press to focus on. You want the press to focus on not increasing fees, not, incre not, not scrapping the education maintenance allowance. Those are the messages we want to get across. funds for the arts today. Winchester is an arts union and that's what we need. If we lose it, Winchester will be cut and it will be devastating for higher education. That's why we brought 250 Winchester students to stay. There's 15,000 of us here today to tell the government that we will not accept cuts to education and higher fees. Uh, I'm a head of school. Yeah, I think just the sheer number of people, I don't know what the number of people is, but we seem to have filled uh, half of London. So I think the fact that the students and universities have been first to have a mass demonstration, hopefully other trade unions and workers and groups will do the same thing. We're here because we want to go to uni and we don't think that we can if the fees get raised. Unfair to live at university to people who can afford such high fees, and we don't want people to have to spend the rest of their life trying to pay off the debt they're in. We wouldn't have seen cuts this radical, we wouldn't have seen them this deep, we wouldn't have seen, um, for instance, humanities funding completely cut. Um, yeah, I think higher education would be in a much better state. Right, you're next to the largest union in the UK, and we represent obviously people from all different uh, industries. It's a principle about our society that we should all be here, not just as parents supporting our children, but again, as I say, for the next generation. And if, if it doesn't make a difference, you know, then it's a sad indictment. But I also think the one thing that it does here is politicise the younger people, and that's what we need. And I'm here because I voted for Nick Clegg, and I wish I had him. 
I think it's going to make our voices heard. I'm not sure that we'll be listened to. I got a free education. I don't see why people, you know, students now, should have to pay so much for their education. So at least to show there's plenty of people who are plenty angry about it, whether we can influence them. I've tried to. I didn't vote for this lot. This is the only way we can show how we feel. I'm here just to show support for all the young people in my constituency who now won't be able to go to university as a result of the announcements. I've just come from inside the House of Parliament where there, there is a real anger amongst MPs about what's happening. But the strength of feeling out here is no doubt fueling that. It's really, really important. It's only by uniting that we're going to fight this. I'm here today with Unite the Union. And there's people from right across the political spectrum who are furious about this. You can hear the strength of feeling behind me. As the main protest wound down, the event took a new turn. Some protesters lashed out at the coalition's plans to cut higher education by 7%. Stop! 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 The Conservative headquarters of 30 Millbank House was the main target. Like gathered here, and I think it's people were sort of here for so long, and it like people it was just at a standstill. So I think it just you know every, everyone sort of bounced off each other, and then it just gets bigger and bigger. And I think they just went a bit mental and started like smashing the doors. I don't think it was planned. Hopefully, if they do something about it and it's made a point, then that'll be really good. And, you know, for a few smashed windows, the people in there can earn more than enough to repair that. Uh, you don't have to start paying it back to you earning over £21,000. But it's like that doesn't, that doesn't change the fact that you're still charging completely ridiculous amounts to have an education as well. I mean, people say, you know, we need to, you know, up the university fees because of the recession and things like that. But that's not the way, I just don't agree that that's the way to do it, you know. I mean, we wouldn't be in this recession if it weren't for like the private sector and things in the first place. You know, the people sitting up there, pretty much. Watching the news on like 24 hour TV 
and all it's focusing on is the riots and not the fact that 50,000 students turned out to disagree with the coalition. It's a disgrace. And if that's, if that's what a minority group of people have done, but that's overshadowed the, the point of this day, what a waste. The biggest student protest since 1998 ended with thousands of activists storming the political heart of the coalition. The NUS president, Aaron Porter, described the violence as despicable, as the intention of the demonstration was peaceful. But with 32 arrests and 14 injured, the attention was turned towards the violence rather than the significant message voiced by the 50,000 protesters that turned up that day.